Well, hello everybody. With the chop done, I want to keep the headroom that I had before the chop. So, kind of got a plan. I want to try to lower the seat um, three inches. So what I did is I have the, the, the model A seat here. Made myself a pattern um, of the side profile, so I have something to go on. And I'm minus three inches here, so this is kind of what I would have left. A couple ways of doing it, maybe. Um, I might try like the newer, like density foam, you know, seat foam, and just try to make this this part. Or I may try to just cut down the springs three inches and weld the springs back. Not quite sure yet. Either way, and then I want to use the same fabric and stuff. So what I've done is I've just removed all the staples, and I'm going to try to pull this fabric off. And my hope is is to uh, reuse this and just you know pull it up to three inches. Use the same base so everything fits what I have in the car already, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It looks like this top part is stapled on along the edges, so I'm going to have to remove those staples also. Well, I decided to try to reuse the coils first. Um, and if it doesn't work, I can go to the foam. But uh, So what I did is I took my grinder and cut the coils and removed... Um, it worked out to be two and a half inches if I removed like two coils. So I dropped the whole seat down, or the top of the seat down two and a half inches and then re-welded where I cut. Um, and you know, I pressed on it and put my foot on it and everything and all the welds were holding and everything's good. I straightened all the bars up to where it looks pretty straight. Um, the springs are all kind of, kind of all over the place. Um, but what I thought I would do, I'm thinking about cutting this extra piece that I had when I did my interior panels, the shape of the seat. Um, and if I laid that on there, then that would kind of make all the coils work together as one. And you wouldn't, before when I sat in the seat, you would kind of fill the coils. So this might stop that. And with the padding on it, you probably never know this is here. So I might try that. All right, so I cut this piece, leaving myself enough room to put hog rings in. Put on the padding and the cover and jute and stuff in it. Look at that. I'm afraid with that, uh, I forget what it's called, but the kind of like plastic piece here, that noise. I think that noise is not good. So maybe I'll take that out. Well, after trying out, um, cutting down the springs and stuff, I didn't just didn't like the way the springs felt. So I've decided to try the foam method. And uh, so first what I've done is I cut out this wood a little bit wider on each side. I don't know, about two, three inches. I bought some... Uh, I think it's latex, it's kind of rubbery webbing. And I'm going to go ahead and crisscross the webbing on the bottom here to give me a little support for my cushions.
That's pretty nice. Alright, I think that, that came out nice. Pretty firm. Fits in the car well. So I'm happy with that. Alright, so now that the bottom of the seat is an inch and a half to two inches lower, this is the back um, of the seat. And these little metal pieces right here they go in the back of the package tray to keep the back um, from flipping forward so I'm gonna have to raise I'm gonna have to move those and probably make something that comes up turns and comes back down but they'll have to be an inch and a half to two inches um, higher on the back of the seat all right so I just took the brackets off and uh, bent a little 90 degree on there and then I'll just put them back on there and they'll slide down on it. And this is how they look when they're installed. I still have to put another screw in each one. But that's all I did. Real simply, simple mod. So after I lowered the back of the seat, <clears throat> the bottom of the seat um, kind of is out here now. This piece that the seat the back of the seat sits on kind of rolls down and then comes out an inch. Well, since I lowered the seat, it had to come from here down to here. And when it did that, it came out a little bit, which made my seat distance from here to here a little bit shorter. So, looking at the seat, the back of the seat, the way it's constructed, this board on the bottom is about three quarters to an inch thick and I'm thinking if I take this board off see how it's on top of these um, if I take this board off use my biscuit joiner to make it flush with these I can gain three quarters to an inch of surface back on my seat which moves me back some and down some so I think I can probably take this board off, cut these biscuit joint at level, pull the upholstery back up, put it in, and that'll give me that much more room. So that's what I'm going to try. So I cut my little slots for the biscuits and also in here I cut little notches out so this piece can go on top. Then I'll just glue them in and nail them in and put the upholstery back on. Worked out pretty good. Glue's all dry now. Nice and flush. Everything put back together. Now I just need to staple the upholstery back up. All right, all back together. So now I'm going to install it and see if I can tell a difference. Alright, well it's all done. 
seem to gain me some more, more like it used to be. The seat sits back now. So, all done there. Seat mod is done. Sitting in the car right now, I think I'm going to try it with the steering wheel where it is. If I do need to lower it, it will be easy to lower. So, I guess that's the end of this video. And pretty much the end of the chop video. Um, I put epoxy primer over the bare metal. And man, you really can't hardly tell where I chopped it. And that's without any body filler. Back here, def you know, I'll have to use a little bit of body filler. But, uh, yeah, and you know how like... One thing leads to another. <laughs> so I thought, well, if I'm going to put epoxy on the on the bare metal, I might as well do some body filler on this back area. Well, if I'm going to do body filler on the back area, I might as well do body filler on the fence, on the quarters. Well, if I'm going to do body on the quarters, I might as well paint the car. So I've been sanding for the last couple of days, uh, trying to prep to paint the car. I can tell it's going to be like probably a month or more, two months before I'm ready to paint, but anyway, that's for another video. Um, it's going well. Happy with the way the chop came out. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.